Welcome everyone. This fire burnt fast. <laughs> While I've got this thing pretty well burnt down, I want to go ahead and take the limb off of this black locust tree over here and deal with that limb sticking out over the yard before we have some thorns in our tires and things. Thought this was a great opportunity to get it over here on the fire. And now I'm going to deal with the thorns too much, I hope. Yeah, this thing burnt quick. Get that up in there. It's actually a good day to be burning. It's cold out here. We're in the low 20s today with a wind chill of about 10 degrees outside. Let's get started. I've got the pole saw with me. And we're going to take this limb down. Now my plan of attack is going to try to take that as close to the tree as I can and get this thing just to swing down a little bit and try not to disturb the thorns on this any more than I have to. And I will definitely have to rake the ground up after I'm done here. Because those things are not tire friendly. Now this will be the first time we've used a pole saw since uh, actually early summer, I think, last year. And what a great tool. I don't have to worry about trying to get up on a ladder. It's going to give me enough reach to get everything I've got to do down on the ground here and uh, do it safely. That's always a plus. see why they say these trees are so tough because that was just a little bit of wood that held that thing together and then allowed it to fall all at once and hopefully we didn't break too many of the thorns off of here let me carry some of this over there and get it into the fire now the thorns on these trees they'll go right through your clothing they'll go through tires and shoes it is really a tough thorn that grows on these trees here and I'm definitely glad to get this branch out of the way I would put this on the trailer but it's just easier to carry this stuff not take a chance with it now these locust trees are supposed to be able to take ground contact so after you cut them down with no treatment of any kind to the tree you can bury these things in soil and use them for gate posts corner posts etc and they're supposed to last a long time
it makes you wonder what makes these trees grow thorns like that and absolutely as stout as a nail that's a good spot for those Coming with us. And judging from the grain and the wood, I bet you this stuff would look awesome if it was milled up. It's a solid tree. This little old branch is actually pretty heavy. Good spot for that one too. Now we get to rake it up. It's one of these things you just continue to put off until you finally get around to it. And now that it's just about done, I'm glad I come down here this morning to get this out of the way. Oh boy. And look at those guys. And there's nothing worse than to get out starting mowing grass or something like that and run over something and have a flat tire. <laughs> You're getting ready to have a long day. Get out of there. Boy, this stuff is easy to miss. Now you would think after you've cut these trees down that you don't have to worry about the thorns but that again they last so long that these thorns may sit on the ground for 10 or 15 years and still have the ability to puncture your tires now another reason I'm paying a little more attention to this area down here is we do have a sawmill coming for our channel we purchased a woodland mill bandsaw and it should be delivered here in the next couple of days. And I'm contemplating on setting it up on the foundation here, although we already have the milling area established back there, but you can see behind me that we'd have plenty of room. It's nice and flat. Staging area, so if we need to lift or roll down logs, we'll have height to work with. And it is close to the house, so if I want to mill in the evenings, I can walk down and and be able to go to work. It's also shaded real well. We was going to use this for a garden spot, but it turns out that the only sunlight this thing actually gets through the planting and growing season is up in the front of it. So everything from the hickory tree over here to the walnut tree up there in this corner stays shaded, which would make it a good spot for the sawmill as well. I'm looking forward to seeing what that thing is all about and uh, seeing how we actually need to set it up. I may bring it down here for, you know, a couple of trips and see how this thing works, the foundation. And if it doesn't suit me, then we'll take it back to the milling area. But uh, it's definitely going to be something to get used to and be able to utilize the trees that we have here. And uh, I'm looking forward to some of the projects that Granny Jill is going to make, I mean, ask me to do. <laughs> so this may be the spot for it, guys and uh, we're gonna have to move our planting beds, which we're still a month or two out from getting those ready. And we're probably gonna take them up a little closer to the house. That way we 
have time to actually water the plants and take care of them. Now the rubber matting that I brought home from work, um, again, that would make a nice smooth platform to work on up here as far as walking down either side of the sawmill. Just a couple of other things. Uh, we did spend a lot of time last summer. You guys have seen a lot of those videos where we flattened this out and uh, got it ready actually again for the garden. Uh, we was planning on tilling this up. Well, it turns out after we flattened it off, we have concrete runners that run the full length of the foundation here. At about, uh, we're 40 feet this direction and 30 feet wide. So if I ever chose to close this in, uh, even though it's old concrete, again, this stuff was made probably back in the 1920s, is when I'm thinking they made this uh, barn that they had here on the property. Uh, the front corner has some damage to it, so I really couldn't do anything there. But with a little bit of work, uh, we can definitely use two thirds of it, and it may make an excellent spot for the sawmill getting the branch out of the way and uh, not having to worry about a flat tire is a good thing too. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, you're going to definitely see the sawmill here in the next week or so. I'll get that thing put together and uh, we'll take a look at that and see what we can get into. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you on the next one.